Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the second lecture on D'Alembert's principle. In this video, we are going to solve the problems on inclined plane. Here, in this image, a block is resting on a rough inclined plane. The block is pulled up by a force P. Okay. Since the block is moving in the upward direction, as per D'Alembert's principle, the inertial force will be acting in the opposite direction. So, MA will be acting towards left side direction. In the second image, the block is resting on a rough inclined plane. The block is sliding down. So, since there is no external force is acting, the block is sliding down. So, the motion is towards left hand side direction. Since the motion is towards left hand side, the inertial force MA is acting on the right hand side direction. So when we write the equilibrium equation that is summation of horizontal forces then we have to consider the MA and we know that in the vertical direction the body is already in equilibrium so we don't need to consider the inertial force. The first problem is a block of 25 kg mass rest on an inclined plane is pulled up by a force of 175 Newton magnitude acting parallel to the inclined plane. Determine the acceleration of the block if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane is 0.3. So the coefficient of friction mu value is given as 0.3. In the problem, the block is in resting on an inclined rough surface. Okay. So first let me draw the free body diagram. The weight of the block is acting in the downward direction. So here the mass is given in kilogram. So the weight is 25 into 9.81. And we know that the inclination between the horizontal and the inclined plane is same as the inclination between the weight and the y axis. So here it is 15 degree. Now this 25 into 9.81 is acting with some inclination. So we can resolve this into two component, a vertical component that is 25 into 9.81 cos 15 degree and here it is 25 into 9.81 sin 15 degree. So this kind of problems we have already solved in the friction. Okay, a 175 Newton is acting 175 then because of the friction between these two contact surfaces a normal reaction will be there and this normal reaction will act in the perpendicular direction of the contact surface then the motion so here the block is pulled up by the force so the motion is towards right hand side direction so the frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction so fs is acting in the left hand side direction also the important thing the inertial force since the motion is acting towards right then the inertial force ma will be acting towards left hand side direction so this is very very important inertial force okay now we will write uh, the summation of horizontal forces and summation of vertical forces we'll start from summation of vertical forces is equal to zero in the image the 25 into 9.8 on cos 15 is acting in the downward direction so it is minus 25 into 9.81 cos 15 degree and Rn is acting in the upward direction so plus Rn is equal to 0. So if you solve this then you will get Rn is equal to 236.89 Newton. The next equilibrium equation is summation of horizontal forces is equal to 0. The 175 is acting towards right, so it is 175, then 25 into 9.81 is acting towards left, so minus 25 into 9.81 sin 15 degree, and the Fs is acting towards left hand side direction, minus Fs. Also, the MA is acting towards left side direction, so it is minus MA is equal to. 0. Okay. So now we know that the Fs is equal to mu into Rn. 
the mu value we have already calculated it is 0.3 and the rn value is already calculated it is 236.89 now we can substitute the values in this equation so we will get 175 minus 25 into 9.81 sin 15 minus 0 0.3 into 236.89 minus the mass the mass of the object it is 25 kg so it is 25 into a is equal to 0 so if you solve this equation then finally you will get a is equal to 1.618 meter per second square the second problem is a body of mass 200 kg is initially stationary on an 15 degree inclined plane what distance along the inclined must the body slide before it reaches a speed of 10 meter per second so here we have to calculate the distance the body will move to get a velocity of 10 meter per second take the coefficient of friction between the body and the plane is 0.1 so mu is equal to 0.1 so whenever you take a problem on d'alembert's principle first you just calculate the acceleration because to find the distance we need to calculate the value of acceleration so first let me calculate the acceleration first the 200 kg block is resting on a 15 degree inclined plane so the weight will be acting on the downward direction it is 200 into 9.81 and the inclination is 15 degree so if you resolve this into two component then it is 200 into 9.81 cos 15 and the another component is 200 into 9.81 sin 15 then because of the friction between these two contact surfaces a normal reaction will be acting in the upward direction and the body is sliding which means the motion is in the downward direction so since the motion is in downward direction then the frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction fs and the important inertial force is also acting in the opposite direction that is right hand side direction okay now we'll write the summation of vertical forces is equal to zero the rn is acting in the upward direction so it is rn minus 200 into 9.81 cos 15 is equal to 0. So if you solve this equation then you will get Rn is equal to 1893 Newton. Then the next condition is summation of horizontal forces is equal to 0. 200 into 9.81 is acting in the negative direction so it is 200 into 9.81 sin 15 the fs is acting towards right side direction so it is plus fs and the ma is also acting in the right side direction so plus ma is equal to zero okay now we know the value for fs because fs is equal to mu into rn we can substitute that it is minus 200 into 9.81 sin 15 plus 0 0.1 into 1893 plus the mass of the block is 200 so it is 200 into a is equal to 0 so if you solve this equation finally you will get the acceleration is equal to 1.59 meter per second square so now we have calculated the value of acceleration and in the problem the final velocity is given so that is we have to calculate the distance along the inclination must the body slide before it reaches a speed of 10 meter per second which means the final velocity v is equal to 10 meter per second and the body is initially at the stationary state which means the initial velocity u is equal to 0 okay now the second part of the problem in the problem the final velocity and the initial velocity is given we have calculated the value of acceleration now we have v u and a we have to calculate the value of the s 
so here the body is moving with uniform acceleration and we know that in the uniform acceleration we can use any one of the three equations of motion to find out the s value okay we can use the third equation that is v square is equal to u square plus 2a yes substitute the value of v it is 10 square plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2 into a we have calculated it is 1.59 into s so if you solve this equation finally you will get s is equal to 31.4 newton that's all so first step we have to find out the value of acceleration from the acceleration by using any one of the equation of motion we can find out the value of displacement suppose in the problem they may ask you to calculate the time also using the same procedure we can calculate the time using any one of the uniform acceleration equations that's all thank you